Hey, welcome back to the Blue Abroad YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna start a new little series. We're gonna do some retrospective hindsight type content. I'm gonna be reacting to some of our best fan cams that we've done. So filming this end of season 2023, which means, you know, we've experienced some finals football, experienced the prelim, and I think for many, many years on this channel, we had not experienced that. And it was kind of, you know, the journey to success, but it just seemed to keep being a time where there was no success. So uh, I'm going to start with round 17, 2020. It's one of my favorite sessions. I look back now and laugh. It's actually, for me, it's funny now. At the time, it was just not funny at all. But I can look back now and laugh. And I laughed a lot doing this. Uh, I actually cried laughing at certain aspects when I filmed this. So uh, I'm looking forward to sharing this with you and we can look back on this. We, just for context, this particular game, we lost to the Crows, eight goals, eight fifty six to 10 goals, 12, 72. Some of you will remember it for, it was Bryce Gibbs' last game. Uh, he absolutely dominated the first quarter. I think he dominated the whole game. He was probably best on ground. Ended up having the 27 possessions and and really just did what he wanted. And, and this was a, at a time where we had a chance to still <clears throat> play finals football. We were still in, in the hunt. A young Sam Walsh was our best player, a very young Sam Walsh. And I think the scenes that ensued afterwards really just captured how we were feeling. And I think the other part to this video is it was during lockdown. So that was just a, a heightened level of frustration and I think this was one of the very early fan cams where we really understood that it was therapy it became therapy for us in a loss so uh, have a look uh, after the video drop a comment down below let me know which session would you like me to react to next because there's a lot anyway let's check it out hello everyone welcome welcome to the round 17 fan cams very, very disappointing effort by the boys today. Wow. I was at my lowest ebb, I think, in life at or around this point. We're in lockdown. Ugh. I just look back now. That is not the human that I am today. I was a wreck. Particularly in that first half. Uh, but that's what this is for. I mean, this is now going to be a therapy session. Um you know, a lot of emotions. We're all extremely upset, filthy, angry. I'm gutted. Honestly, I'm gutted. That, that first half, what are we doing? What are we doing? You know, it's like we came out <laughs> thinking it was all going to happen. It's literally just the same story. And if, if anything, it's probably how we came out last week. We obviously made the comeback and... We're happy about that and we're hoping that we learnt our lesson. But fuck me. What the <laughs> fuck was that? You know, what what are we doing? What are we doing here? You know. This is the first time I think I've been able to laugh watching these properly. I think now because <laughs> we've done it, we've made finals and whatever. So look back looking back on this is a lot easier to do. You know, we go down by what was it 14 points in the end. Shout out to um, the old BA logo. That's the old one. Benji. Oh, mate. Hey, mate. Shout out Benji. Wow. All grown up now. It was only three years ago, but still. Look, um, I'm at peace with this game. You know, like, I'm very upset about the whole thing and the game, but it's just unsustainable footy. I mean, it's just typical. It's what I can expect from this club at the moment. Um, That's deep, man. That's deep. Benji knew. Benji knew. The, the the apathy. I'm not even upset. It's just what I'm come to expect every weekend. How old are you? I'm 13, so I glitched out the yeah. other week. But mate, mate, I, I, I mate, I'm 29, and I feel the same. I've seen yeah. the same as you. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You're right. There's there's a level of it happens, and then it's just like, okay, well, what I can I? deal with this because I've seen this all my life. Wow. I'm speechless at that. Yeah, I mean, it's what I just come to expect every week. And um, you know what? I can actually say us winning next week. I know, you know, <laughs> putting the young guns and just, you know, go go at it. And 
close. <laughs> this. <laughs> Ah, oh, the psychosis that is being a Carlton fan pre-2023. My God, I love it. Four quarters of footy. That's all I can ask for. If we lose and we play four quarters of footy, I'm not upset. Fair. Yeah, he did. Mr. Beach. Wow. We give it up for Beachy. Early Beachy. The study. Not completely as full as what it is now. Look at this. Okay, did we leave the hotel this morning and just go straight to Brisbane in that first half? Because what the fuck was that? I mean, okay, support gives on his last game, yeah. But uh, boys, Sarum went. You've got to get. You've got to do the job. You have to be with him afterwards. Too many smiles and hugs, mate. You ain't wrong, bro. <laughs> That's tough, mate. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. I feel this emptiness, just this, just flat. I still remember how, how I, I remember this particular fan cam really clearly. He was gutted. We were, we all were, but I, I just, I do remember this, Beachy, very clearly. Wow. <laughs> That's it. That's all you can do, Art. Shake your head. Man, how much can I yell? How much, you know, like we sit here. Look, first of all, thanks, Terry, because this is a bit of therapy for everybody, I'm telling you. Or else because of this uh, isolation, man, we're just walking around like crazy just by ourselves, you know. True, man. We were in lockdown. Oh, fuck. It's wild. I mean, I'm grateful to be able to think about it like this now and like look back on it. We were in lockdown and they were playing like that as well. Wow. Also, shout out to Rocco. Look at the setup there in the kitchen. Now he's got the studio. You know, so first of all, thanks to you, mate. But um, it's, it's, it's disgraceful. It's embarrassing. That's what this is. This is embarrassing, man. Like there's no urgency. Is it? Is it? There's no urgency. Is it? See the way they're just jogging around. O'Brien, he comes in, he gets his chance. What does he do? <laughs> Seriously, man, run. What have you been doing for fucking 18 yeah. weeks? You've been doing nothing. You get your chance. Run. 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 That's all I'm asking you to do, mate. I already see. I'm telling you, the fans, what's wrong with you people, mate? I see posts. Oh, if we win by 97 points, and uh, this team loses, and if we do this, and I do a backflip, and my fucking grandmother had balls, we're going to make the finals. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? We shouldn't have even been thinking of that. We should have been thinking first bounce, mate, first bounce. And it's, oh, man, I don't even know what to say anymore, man. This is like. Wow, we, we were saying that exact sentence for we, we've been saying that up until mid twenty twenty three. It was still the same rhetoric. Wow. Am I waiting? <laughs> no, you know, there was a moment again. I, I... <laughs> I feel that. I feel the head bang. I really do. It's not about you wearing the jumper, it's what you do when you've got that jumper. And what are you doing, man? Ask yourself. Are they asking themselves what wow. they're doing? That is, mate, that's, that's giving me goosebumps. I don't know many people that love the essence, that understand the essence and who really appreciate the essence of being a Carlton person like Rocco. I don't know, man. This is like, you know, I sat on the couch today. I, I didn't even yell. It was like, I, I don't know. I felt like that. This is it. This is it. This is where we're at. We are. We've got to be serious with ourselves. We are a middle of the road team, right? This is serious. We are a middle of the road team. If anyone thinks differently, that I'm telling you, we're never going to win anyway. We are just middle of the road. If we're lucky, the difference between our best and our worst is just too big, mate. It's it just wrong. too big. It's true. 
And there's no certainty for tomorrow. There's no certainty for next. Look at Doherty. There's no certainty on the next quarter. He done his. Now we've got no certainty that he's even going to play next week, you know. And then what happens during the preseason? Something else happens and then your career's over, man. They don't get it. The moment is now. We've been saying it. The moment is now, wow. mate. It's right Elf. now. We had a chance. It was now, Elf. man. It starts. And it didn't even start today. It should have started during training. You know, when you went out there to training, did you – I'm want to. i going to give you an example. I'm going to show you something, right? I want you to do something for this me, right? And this is what I reckon – this is iconic. I refer to this with Rocco to this day. I want you to stretch out your arm for a sec as far as you can. Just do that for a sec, Bob. All right? Can you just stretch it out a bit more? Just a bit more. But wait a sec. I told you to stretch it as far as you can the first time. But you did it. That is their fucking attitude. That is their attitude. Tell me. Give me everything you fucking got when you get out there and they don't. And then there's the, always the excuses of oh, they're young and they're ba 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 That's all I'm hearing. I'm like the Simpsons. Remember once Homer, he was in one of the shows and he's listening to the teacher and all he heard was blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm hearing. Blah, 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 it's blah, blah. true. Get the fucking ball. That's oh, it. Rock. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 all fun. Coaching's got to be looked at. Keep teeth because you've got to give him that chance. But, you know, coaching, look, who are we getting in there for coaches? Like assistants. Like Barker and all that, all right, all good, man. I want winners there, mates. I want winners, you know. Like I remember when Richard Pratt got got um, made president years ago, you know, like before everyone's time here. It was made it, and they said to him they needed to get the CEO or something, and, and they said to him, all right, uh, we'll go and get the best available. And he said, no, you get the best CEO, not the best available. What are we doing? Are we getting the best coaches? They don't give a fuck if you got a contract, man. Where's the Carlton of old? <laughs> oh, I'm crying. I need to calm down. We've only had a couple in. This is going to get funnier. Um, he's not wrong. And look, now I've got Brian Cook. That was the best. That he is the best. Oh, oh, yeah. Thanks, mate. It's now, I want no, to make you're welcome. Sure. The dog, it's all good. Now, I'll let it all out. Uh, uh, that is kind of what it really it, it was. We started calling it therapy from back then because that's kind of what it was. It was so bad to watch. We just had somewhere to go to stick together and just, you know, let it out, get it off our chest in a controlled environment, and then kind of move on with our lives. Wow, Rock, I'm crying, mate. That's hilarious. We've been in it for the last three years. We say that every yeah. year. Oh, we'll be good in three years. We'll be good in three years. Like, it's just, it's just really hard. It's tough. Um, and, bro. Yeah. What can you do, I guess? Jim, early Jim. Wow. Hey, Terry. Jimmy Adjo, what's up, mate? Oh, mate. Um, look, we're in the business of wins and losses in this competition, and we are fucking reactive, man. We are never on the front foot. This is a team. We should have just been four, four or five goals ahead at halftime. Um, and I sat there numb, like all Carlton supporters, to that performance. That was fucking shit. Wow. It was fucking shit. And I don't think there's many that can hold their head up high, like Weedering, Harry, yeah. Um, it's really interesting to see the players that were playing well when we weren't playing well and who we were talking about. I don't remember this game in particular who played well. Um, but just to see these live comments come up uh, of who we wanted to play and etc. The contest and maybe show a little bit of composure, be clean. But you know, we got Gibbo on, like he's on the outside. He he showed some composure. Michael Gibbons, um, Weedering. Comp- Shout out Michael Gibbons. Composure, and we just man, we struggled that first quarter. That's the worst first quarter in. I think this comment, this live comment, says a lot. Cripps had a good second half, but we need him to be at his best if we want to win games. And I think in hindsight, which is a wonderful thing, you know, that's no longer the case with this team. You know, we just need the team effort. So it's so hard to see that in the moment right there, but it's true. A few years. We played Adelaide. Okay, so we've been saying that every year, but 2021 is the start of a decade. Fuck 2020. Yep. Good on you, mate. Fair play. 
I like that. Gox. Yeah. Wow. Terry. Can you hear me, so, mate? <laughs> yeah, mate. I can hear you. <laughs> Very few people make me smile like Jad. I can hear you loud and clear, mate. Talk to me. Oh, you look, you look shattered, bro. You look fucking shattered. Yeah, mate. I was. Uh, oh man, my voice was was getting a workout in the second quarter because it's just not good enough, mate. You know, now now I'm subdued because uh, I forgot who the caller was before, but he just sort of he was thir- uh, Benji. He was 13. He said, "This is just all I know." Well, and this is just all I know. I can just cop it now because it's. I'm. Um, you know, I go for a losing club. It's been that way for my whole life. Yeah, mate. Look, um, everyone's entitled to their opinion. But um, I just think some of our some of these reactions are just fucking way over the top, and I, I've got to be careful because I don't want to give the team an excuse. But I just don't think this was the type of game to start calling for. Oh, we should trade SPS. We should trade McGovern. We should trade this. We should trade that. The, like this game was. I just think the blame is being diverted to the players, and really it should be on that selection committee. This this this. That's a very interesting take. I don't remember this. This game was the fourth game in 14 days, right? The last few weeks, we didn't drop Crips or we didn't rest Crips. We didn't rest Doherty. We didn't rest Weedering. We didn't rest Betts. Oh, that's right. This was the, this was the, I think it was the four games in 13 days, something like that, when they clustered them together. Now, that tells me that Teague and that team either have no faith in what's underneath them or, um, they just they just don't have the guts to make the change because I don't think Teague's shown enough courage this year to try and bridge that bridge that transition. So that's just my that's my opinion. But yeah, yeah Fair I enough, don't. I, don't think- I appreciate it's fan cams like this, which made me fall in love with Jad. Jad. Yeah, no, I appreciate it, mate. I appreciate your thoughts. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing them. <sighs> this is peak blue abroad. I I love football. I mean, I'm just I, I don't feel like I'm surprised anymore. Do you know what I mean? And I'm hearing players like people say the same old trite. We need a big bodied midfielder. Find me a big bodied midfielder in the comp that is elite by foot, that has a high inside fifty ratio conversion rate. I mean he he just he he was always talking with the intricate statistical edge, Pommy. Ollie Wines is mentioned. He's eleven percent and fifty percent by foot. Like big body midfielders genuinely can't fix the inside fifty count. You're looking at your outsiders. Like we can we can point fingers at people. We can say we can bring players in, but until there's a desire, and I'm telling you now. A hundred percent, it is fucking desire that is missing in this club. And players who were brought in it was right. can't fucking give you that. That is that is a mentality that transcends from the top of the tree down to the fucking bottom. And the workers are the players. And I'm sorry, but look at the club as a whole. We project how much money we fucking made. Do you know what I mean? This week, all I've heard from the fans is I hope fucking Gibbs gets carried off. I hope Gibbs gets carried off. Are you fucking kidding me, people? He doesn't play for us anymore. He won us fuck all. This doesn't fly where I come from. In England, we don't fucking celebrate players that did fuck all for us. I'm laughing, but he's so right. He's so right. Because finals is on the fucking line. The way people jogged in the first quarter, fucking jogged. Finals on the line. You've got GWS making a shit show of themselves, giving us a third chance and there's no passion. I'm so fucking upset. I'm wearing a headband. That is how (laughs) fucking upset I am. Because right now even my hair doesn't sit right. And I can't say next year. I can't say next year. I can't say even that bloke. Can he fix that? Can he fix that? Them inside 50s, man, are fucking harsh. Fuck. So fucking shit, man. Like, it's it's funny, but it's not. Like, it's, it's, there's such a depth to the, the sentiment 
across everyone that I've watched so far. It's fascinating. Um, but it's all right, though, because Gibbs had 30 on his fucking farewell game. Do you know what I mean? It's all right. Let's have a fucking big knees up at that. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> the highlight of the game for some people is Gibbs fucking got carried off. Have a fucking word with yourself. if that Mate, fucking facts. And I think this, I think the notion of the Gibbs getting chat off, there's a division. So like, if you feel like it was okay, fair enough. But I know I didn't think it was okay. I think that because of the way in which we played on this day, my God. That is it. If that is the highlight of that game, what are we fucking doing with our lives? Why do I waste all my fucking time making fucking videos for this shit? <laughs> if that's what it... <laughs> uh, I think... I think Pommy and I had this this exact conversation every year up until this year. Even this year, end of Essendon, it literally just got to the point of like, what are we doing? Like, there was nothing, there was no, I think the word that came to our mind this year is nourishment. We weren't getting nourishment with the results for the work we were doing. I guess now we are. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Mark. His peak Mark. <laughs> this is going to be one of the longest interviews that you'll have. Just first, I'm going to, first, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping. <laughs> I was worried. <laughs> I was just worried of what he was going to say here. But to be fair, he was fine. Come first. I'm going to keep calm first before I unleash. But again, the blazing and the bombing, it's just, it was ripping my goddamn hair out. See this top right here? There's the old number four. If you sort of can't, there it is, a bit right there. I used to wear that with pride and fucking honour with Bryce Gibbs. Now it's Lockie O'Brien. Of course, the kid will have time. But again, I know I did say that I wasn't going to really mention about players. I know I did that, but obviously not for Potty. This is more of they need. Fair play. He was just trying to keep it keep it um, <clears throat> respectful. I have, as a midfield and stopping this coach, how's this one? Scott Camparelli. Why am I mentioning this? A premiership player at Carlton back in his first year. But you know what? He had he had cunt in him. All right? <laughs> he had motherfucking cunt in him. And we don't have that anymore. Fair. Do you understand why I'm being like this? I, I, I feel like I shouldn't have to. But you know what? This is fucking fair income because I've seriously had enough. Okay? This fan cam needs a bit of everything. Okay? Wow. Sometimes. Look at my face. I don't even know what to do in this moment. But I understand. I understand the the passion, the, the the care factor. You know, it may hurt you first, but when it does so hard, the pain will be washed away, and the ultimate game will be there if we freaking put in as a club. Oh, boys, for fuck's sake, you got to be. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just don't even know what to say. You know, like. Again, I said I didn't expect to make finals, but I just expected to see us finish off that year, you know, show some improvement. And that sort of just, you know, back downhill. Now I'm looking at the Brisbane game thinking, you know, I can't see us winning that, but I expect to see a four-quarter performance to finish off strong. Um, you know, I've seen in the chat, you know, people already talking about, you know, retirements, trades and all that, you know. I think Simo has to go around again. You know, he's been so consistent for yeah. us all year and still giving 100%, whereas there's blokes in our team that simply aren't doing that. So I don't know how blokes that are younger can be given a spot over someone that's prepared to be doing that week in, week out. That's that's sort of beyond me, to be honest. But And right now I live in America. It's fucking 3.30 a.m. right now. I stay up till wow. 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 4 a.m. to watch these games. Wow. And it's just like... What's the point? I yeah, mean, mate, yeah, here we are. What for watching us get flogged by a team oh, yeah, a couple of weeks ago who hasn't won any games all season? It's just like 2017. I just completely took a year to stop watching football. Like, I couldn't, I didn't, I just had no passion. I just didn't. I know it's good to you have to stick through your club thick and thin, but it's just like. In 2017, I just couldn't. I just had to step away from football for a year, get my love for the game back. Just, wow. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Well, mate, go get a good night's sleep and uh, we'll be in touch. Charlie, I promise you it gets better, mate. Just hang on for three more years, mate. All right. Webby. 
Terry, Terry, Terry. Webby, 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 Webby. my friend. How are you, bro? Oh, you know, I don't know. I don't know anymore, Webby, mate. I don't fucking know. I tell you, I had to yeah, wait an hour in. before I... Let me tell you, after like 90 minutes, you st- I start going cuckoo and gets delirious. I came on or else I might have just exploded, mate. When... I'm sorry for the wait. No, 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 that's all right. Isn't your fault. Um, when is this club going to learn, my friend? These five, these just, we just give teams five, six goal starts. And there's, there's, there's no This was like the five goal swing period. Ugh. I'm so glad we don't talk about that anymore. Chip. Um. Jeez, oh, I don't know, bud. I don't. Know. That's the perfect summary. I don't know. Neither do I, brother. It's drove back from pretty, pretty um, pretty disappointing uh, game. Yeah. Harry, I promise you, mate, it gets better. It does. And there you have it. <laughs> there you have it. Carlton supporters, full of emotion. That's us. That is us at our core, and. I've always found the fan cams a fascinating concept for what it's become because you have a, you know a spectrum of highly emotional, highly unemotional, and then everything in between, practical and everything in between. And I think, yeah, that's I think that's the beauty of fan cams. It showcases all sides to it. So that was that. Let me know what do you think of that. What do you recollect from that day? Drop a comment down below. And also let me know which game, which fan cams session should I do next? Chat to you in the comments. Go from there. Go Blues.